What I really liked seeing in this project was people tapping into those personal archives. And really, it was the intention to bring awareness to archives. And so it was really great to hear some of these personal stories along the way. And uh, within the group, when we were having our song shares, people really enjoyed hearing it. And it inspired other songs or people looking into other avenues of historic events once they started hearing what their peers were researching, which was kind of neat. We are getting set up for our very, very next artist. And uh, while we're doing that, I want to tell you a little bit about how this is sort of the beginning of our Art in the Archives series. In October, on Wednesday nights, we are offering Art in the Archives uh, sessions. On October the 9th, we're going to be featuring the Tales Storytellers, and they're a fabulous group of oral, I don't know, storytellers. They come out, they do a fabulous concert, much like you're seeing here. They've got uh, fabulous pictures that accompany their stories, quite entertaining. They can have you laughing uh, one minute and, uh, and sharing some of your own stories the next. So please come out and check out Tales. I'll tell you about the other uh, series that are coming up. But uh, it's looking like we're ready for our very next artist by the name of Debbie Spence. Let's welcome her to the stage. <laughs> And uh, I just want to tell you a little bit about Debbie. She is a singer and songwriter in Edmonton. She's a 24-year student of meditation and the executive director of the Yoga Association of Alberta since 1991. Her album, Keeping Me Close, of mystical folk songs, is co-written with Ben Malud, a lifetime student of Sufism. Debbie sings and volunteers at yoga workshops, the palliative care unit at the General Hospital, community dinners for the homeless, retreat centers, and spiritual gatherings. Anywhere where people want to experience songs that are uplifting, inspiring, healing, and relaxing, and have a spiritual, spiritual message with depth. Let's welcome Debbie Spence. So when I came to the Provincial Archives, I walked into this big, huge area back here where there's all kinds of neat things. And I was drawn immediately to pictures of First Nations uh, people. And so I started to think I'd like to write a song about the First Nations, honoring them. When I was a kid, 12 years old, 13, I used to read all the books in my school library about the First Nations people. They just fascinated me. And so <clears throat> I was uh, really excited to come here and be able to participate in this program. So um, I, the first song is called um, Children of the Land, and the second song I'll sing is Idle No More. And actually there is, um, which I didn't know before I started writing the song, in 2008 they launched the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of the federal government um, honoring the and and asking forgiveness of for some of the uh, situations that the First Nations were subjected to, and so I um, would like to dedicate this these songs to the Truth and Reconciliation Forum, and also apparently the last they, there's been six across the country. There was one in Vancouver, which you heard about in September earlier, and there's one in May. 2008, in, in, uh, sorry, May 2014, or March 2014, so it's coming up in Edmonton, so that's coming up. So this is called Children of the Land. Dwellers beyond time and memory, Alberta was only a dream. People of endless horizons, the Blackfoot, the Stony, the Green. Life intrigue me, stories of courage and love. You lived a life in balance, the great spirit guiding above. Remember who you are, children of the land, pilgrims of the night.
that I read in my childhood At odds with the history books Records of greed and betrayal Records of all that we took Centuries of upheaval Of actions that can't be undone People with different values And life as you knew it was Uncertain, hard to know where healing starts. We may be bleeding in conscience, still there is pain in your heart. Can't change the past with I'm sorry. Sharing regard can create a new
Beautiful. Thank you very, very much, Debbie Spence. Really great job. Let's give her another hand there, please.